how do we start this defect run? Do I swap? Or do I take a random rare relic? I think that's a lot more attractive against Slime Boss. Uh, because more of the rare relics are useful in this fight. Uh, very notably, the Captain's Wheel, the Stone Calendar, the Turnip, and Ginger are all rare relics that are specifically useful against this boss. Either because they, they line up on a, a nice turn number, or because they provide immunity to a status effect that this boss inflicts. Custard Lemon says, how do you deal with Awaken 1 when Defect is so power-reliant? You have two options. One is to have a... Either either way, you're going to need a block strategy, usually. And there's two, two ways to get there. One is block with powers. Use capacitors and defragments and loops with a lot of frost orbs to essentially generate more block using the powers than the strength gained by the Awakened One. That can be easy or it can be difficult, depending on the exact powers and notably whether they're upgraded or not. The other option is to have a defensive strategy that is separate from power playing. Um, the defect card Go for the Eyes is a really, really good way to, to help yourself out, as it'll reduce Awakened One's damage by 25%, and it always works because the Awakened One attacks on every single turn of the combat. So you'll never draw it on the wrong turn, because there is no wrong turn. But other powerful block cards like Equilibrium, Leap, Charge Battery, uh, doubly so if you've managed to gain Dexterity somehow with a Relic, a Potion, or something like that. Uh, can go a really long way towards blocking on Awakened One, too. Ooh, Prayer Wheel Floor One. Now there's something powerful. Okay, okay. I like it. Heck, there's even a five, five upgrade no relic path in this act. That's rather fascinating. Prayer Wheel gives us extra card rewards from every single regular combat. Yes, including the first three, which means we'll be showered with cards this act. And we can almost build our own deck by choice. I've had I've had defects that have played a creative AI against the Awakened One, Tachanka, because with the gain, if you have enough focus, then even an unupgraded loop is more more defense than the Awakened One gains from one power played, and the same is true of capacitors. So if you have a certain amount of focus, then then even just playing those random plus orb slot powers whenever they arrive can be a major defensive gain. Particularly true if you've got to consume. A no-skip prayer wheel run? Yikes. Right now I'm trying to figure out if I take a couple of events early or if I just go tons of combats. I think I should just flood the deck with uh, herb rewards here. It's gotta be right. Oh dear. Welp. my hit points, though. So, guaranteed save five, or increase the chance that I save six. I think I just play the Defend and Hope. That's fine by me. It's fine by me. Let's go block heavy here. Try to redraw the dual cast. Kill with it next time we see it. Excuse you. Slime is very rude. Okay, we do have a claw in the first card reward. I think an auto shields is pretty good as well. Chaos is here. The previous chaoses went okay. Oh, chaos. Hmm. Choosing between the claw and the auto shield is a little annoying. I guess taking two skills is not really advisable, huh? Hey there, Ravenock. Thanks for those hundred bits. How do I figure out what too many cards look like? It's really all about getting just down to that, that five card number by the end of the run. That, that... It's so... 
frequently Im outright impossible to even get down to five cards. Um, that it really does quite strictly shape what you're allowed to do when going for the challenge. Barring really unusual outcomes like floor one peace pipe. I think I am going to take this claw and I'm not going to take any of these cards. We should be skipping at least some of these early prayer wheel card rewards because we don't want to flood the deck with too many cards. Bippity boppity. Give that guy a triple strike into taking seven damage. This is where auto shields might have been very nice. Not a bad job worm fight overall, though. Scrape. And. Ooh, a Doom and Gloom. Doom and Gloom compelled over Leap. Leaning towards Doom and Gloom and the Charge Battery here as my two picks. Gives me a block card with some energy efficiency and gives me uh, an area damage card. I think just taking the Scrape would be way too all any and we should take some some power cards for our upcoming combats not like power category cards but powerful cards biggest successful deck i've had i've i've done a, a winning deck of well over 50 cards before it's um certainly not impossible and that's like outside of course uh, daily or custom mode runs where hundreds of cards can be the can be the norm but it's absolutely possible to make a very 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 strong deck that has many 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 cards in it you won't always be using all of those cards but simply having them can be a boon at times okay yeah i'm gonna go church battery doom and gloom here i need to make sure we can we can kill stuff and that we can block. Blocking is nice. Blocking is highly advised, in fact. Uh-oh. Uh, lightning orbs, save me. Please. Get him. No! <laughs> Why? Unnecessary. Why you gotta be like that, lightning orbs? Ball lightning? Okay, okay. Meteor strike is uh, probably not playable. I do like a beam cell to give us some more damage here. We could even just go double ball lightning. That'd be pretty wild. How many feet of snow did I get last night? I got a lot of uh, what you would call liquid snow. Cold, miserable liquid snow. Grab this beam cell, I think. And one ball lightning. And now we have... Well, maybe too many attack cards, but we have a plan for these later Act 1 fights, which can be a bit of a, a downer, you know? So we do have Doom and Gloom. I'm able to deal 10. I think that means I should play the Claw here. Oh. Interesting. Good potion. More free orbs. Love me a chill. Generally speaking, reprograms an interesting option. This one looks like a skip to me. But I will happily take a chill. First frost orbs of the run again. Got a lot of snow in my whiskey glass last night. There you go. There you go. I'm originally considering trying to go this way, maybe? Let's see what this event is. I've certainly gotten enough card rewards here. I guess we could maybe go one more combat, though. One more chance at a potion. One more double card reward, but there would be three more afterwards anyhow. I really do like this route, if we can survive it. Otherwise, I can go Fire Elite. Elite Fire Shop? It's not too bad. Let's see what this event is, then. I, I get to choose between Elite or Fire. And if the event is a heal, I'll probably go straight into this Elite. Whereas if it's health loss, well, we'll probably be resting. 
to remove transform upgrade. That's pretty good. We could upgrade the Doom and Gloom for plus four damage to all enemies, very notably. Or we could upgrade the Beam Cell. Could also transform a card, lose one of these strikes, get something else. I think if I upgrade Doom and Gloom, I can very easily take this fight with the Strength Potion and this deck of cards and 37 health. Let's do it. A little bit aggro here. Well, that's how I like it. Look at Chill popping off in this fight, giving us three very useful Frost Orbs right away. I might not use this Strength Potion here. I might hold the Strength Potion for a later Elite fight. That's what I'm going to do. This is a, a comparatively easy combat for us, and the Lightning Orb has given us our target here. Get him. Doom and Gloom is going to do 14 by 3, 42 total damage. And that's before even factoring in that there is a Dark Orb involved for later. So close to being able to kill this one. If I use the Strength Potion, we would have. But I can mostly block this turn anyway. Didn't think so, Dark Orb, uh, Lightning Orb. I know better than to trust you. And here I'll actually use the dual cast on the Frost Orb to... well, hmm. Good luck to me. Might take five next turn. I'm okay with that if we do. But ideally we'd like to draw a dual cast soonish. To kill them both. Ouch. That's fine, we can rest. And we get a white beast statue giving us a potion after every combat. I think that's going to make this elite gauntlet very manageable. Wow, and that's a choice. Electro and skim. Holy moly. Although we're... Uh, no, we have a ball lightning too. I really do like this electrodynamics. Enabling our lightning orbs to hit all enemies. What about a skim? Card draw has been something that we've needed in our defect runs. Fighting a slime boss, though? Okay, I'll take this Electro. I'm not going to worry too hard about it. We're just going to do it. I'm going to have myself asleep, although I do think upgrading Electrodynamics is, or upgrading the Beam Cell are both pretty good here. And we're going to stumble upon a sleepy egg. If I play Electro here, we wake this Egg Boy up instantly. Whereas I think we'd like to open with uh, Doom and Gloom so that we get a Dark Orb in play. Let's just do Charge Battery then. Not sure which of my potions I'm going to use in this fight. Guess that depends on what I draw next turn. Okay, we get Doom and Gloom, Claw, and Chill. That's pretty good. So, Strength Potion or Gambler's Brew? I think I'll save the Gambler's Brew. Looking at these draws... I want to be able to dual cast the Frost Orb next turn, so let's boo Chill first, then Doom and Gloom. Because we're going to be attacked for 20 here. And I know I'm drawing Ball Lightning dual cast, so we go Ball Lightning, dual cast the Frost, play defends. And then we're going to redraw to the... There's our uh, Gambler's Brew hand, by the way. This is not what I want to draw when it's sleeping next turn. Let's gamble all of that. Much better. We want to redraw the dual cast to use on this Dark Orb to deal lethal damage here. Or even just simply evoking it now will, will suffice, so Zap alone kills. Okay, that went really well. We pick up a Meat on the Bone, healing us below, if we're below half after combat. These two things together, the, the White Beast Statue and the Meat on the Bone, 
and the prayer wheel is... I don't even know how to describe how beautifully synergistic this all is. It's a triple threat. We have resource rep replenishment given to us in every single combat, uh, especially if we're struggling, and we're going to be able to view tons and tons of cards as we go through fights. This is a, a relic bar that is very much one where you want to ignore question mark rooms entirely if possible and just hit combat after combat after combat. Hello and welcome, Worshipper. Watcher is a very interesting character. She's very uh, setup oriented, I would describe her. Watcher is all about doing a little bit of prep work in order to have one very explosively powerful turn where you destroy all your foes, generally speaking. Her scry, her retain, and her energy storing stance change mechanics are all in pursuit of this. You want to have more cards in your hand, have energy stored up, and know what you're drawing in order to make one big turn where you kill everything. Quick advice for the Watcher, try removing defends as your first card removals in your run and focusing on using upgraded attacks with Wrath Stance to deal lots of damage. This kind of form the, the foundation of the simplest and most effective Watcher playstyle. Oh man, oh my goodness. This run is going to be silly, chat. Not only are we getting more card rewards per combat, but every single skill is going to be upgraded. All of them. All of the Seeks that we see, all of the Fissions, all of the everything. It's all going to say plus. Holy moly. I don't even know how to... Wow. Get this Electro upped. 40 card deck incoming at, at a minimum. This chill doesn't say plus, but it really feels like it does. I love it. And I guess I'll use the fire potion in this fight, or I could reasonably save that for slime boss. Yeah, it's a good, good one here. Get him. Easy. Get additional lightning orbs in play too. Once I draw electrodynamics, the fight is over. GG, nerds. Heal 12, we get an excellent relic, the gold plated cables, which cause our rightmost orb to activate itself one additional time and wow. Just wow. What do you take here? Oh, we got Gold Plated Cables Darkness Plus. That is one of my favorite combos. Actually. But uh, Upgraded Card Draw or Upgraded Energy Generation are both a thing. We already have pretty decent damage output. I'm... As much as I like this Darkness Plus, I'm leaning towards grabbing this first Cool Headed. To give us some, uh, one, to give us a reusable source of frost. Currently, we only have one one time frost orb. And two, to get the, the draw positivity going here. Why does it say have a claw? You know, we thought with Prayer Wheel that you would see an additional claw. Uh, but then the card rewards went in a very different direction. You know how first picks go sometimes. Uh, how much damage is this actually? We would do eight immediately plus 12 at the end of turn. So 20, 26, yes. That's a kill. Oh no, three times three is less than 11, except gold-plated cables. Although, yeah, I did want to take a little more damage, perhaps. Echo Form versus Glacier Plus, anybody? And there's the Darkness Plus back.
I mean, yeah, I'm gonna take the Echo Form, I think. Fuck. We'll grab Block Potion over Strength Potion. And I... I will take this Darkness. Yeah, very interesting Echo Target, and again, I really like what it does with gold-plated cables. There's a special interaction of sorts there. Here's our two damage. Turbo. Uh, algorithm is very good, but I'm probably going to take that turbo. Actually, we have an echo form to dupe the algorithm in? Hmm. The only challenge is... Not ending the fight before... Algorithm. Okay, I'll take the algorithm. There's lots of other upgraded energy generators we can find. Turbo's not even necessarily the best one. Pro tip, aggregate's the best one, especially with how big this deck's gonna get. Yeah, we want to see aggregates all day. Blessing of the Forge doesn't do that much when half the deck is already upgraded, huh? All right. And I'm just going to play this on turn one. I'm also going to use the block potion. Although, wait, hold on. If I take 11, I go to 35. That's perfect. Never mind. Perfection. They're attacking me next turn, so let's kill you. Uh, math here. Doom and Gloom Ball Lightning deals 21 plus... 21 plus 9. So we do kill with that. Wasn't sure if Electro would kill. Chaos says plus on it. Another cool-headed... Or another claw. Could finally have our second claw. I think I'll just take another cool-headed. And then we have enough draw for the uh, plus energy cards to be really, really good. Loop's an interesting option. I don't have the focus yet to make it feel amazing. Less interested in a loop right now. Got the cool headed. Skip the loop. Doesn't say plus. Although I could make it say plus. I would like to make beam cell say plus. Would also appreciate upgrades on charge battery, dual cast, and zap. We'll get those eventually. But let's start with this beam cell. Particularly for the slime boss fight. Chaos. So Electro, then Darkness. And chill. And the, guy, the idea is to get the Dark Orb into the front slot here, so that the gold plated cables will stack it twice as fast. Or I could play Echo Form. Do that instead. I can double dual cast to split. I'm also thinking about double genetic algorithm here. Because I can. And because it will permanently grow this algorithm two times. The other option is um, split now and try to double algorithm later in this fight. Which I suppose is not a bad idea. I can go double doom and gloom, for example. And we'll be able to draw this again. I can deliberately prolong the fight if necessary. Looks like there's plenty of use for additional energy next turn, so I'll play this Church Battery, too. Get slightly healthier slimes that way. Oh, man, I was hoping I would draw one of the cool headeds. Hello? Very well. Yes, algorithm works with Echo Form. Pro tip. And they are very good together. A little 
bit here. Gotta be careful not to get this, let this dark orb get too big, lest we accidentally kill everything with it. So, for example, if I double ball lightning here, I do run a bit of a risk of not playing this algorithm before the end of the fight. Hmm. Probably better to darkness then, because I can control when the darkness orbs evoke. In fact, if you play Slimed as your first card, it does get Echo Formed, which does nothing. So here, for example, I instantly end the fight if I play Doom and Gloom two times, but Genetic Algorithm has still yet to be played. So we're going to wait. If I play the cool headed, I might draw the algorithm. Let's not do that. There we are. Finally, success. Too wet. What is the ice? Uh, sorry, what is the slime boss's favorite type of ice cream? Banana split. GG. All right. We have meat on the bone healing. We doubled our algorithm, which now says 10 block, and it's only going to get bigger from here. We're offered a Hyper Beam, Creative AI, and Thunder Strike. These cards notably do not say plus. was really hoping we'd see something like a Fission or... A seek, you know, but uh, none, none of those things are on offer here. I'm probably going to pass all these. Do I want a weak potion? I don't think so. Okay, skip and skip. And Rosencore is fascinating. Although, again, we have really, really high tier energy uh, orb generation, so I don't think so. But I like the interaction of Rosencore gold plated cables. If you start your end your turn with no orbs in play, then you immediately generate a frost orb and activate it two times. We want more energy. Runic Dome is here. I don't think that's bad. But I also would not mind an Astrolabe. Transform, upgrade three cards here. Get rid of three of these strikes and give me something else. I truly don't feel like we need energy generation from our relics that much because we're going to be able to find cards that generate energy for us very soon in Act 2 and increases our quote-unquote upgrade density very dramatically. I think we're going to have difficulty getting rid of all of these starter cards otherwise. Like, yeah, let's upgrade, uh, let's up transform and upgrade three of our strike cards here and see what we get. A rebound, another Electro Plus, and an all-for-one loss. Claw? Is it your day to shine? Now I do want a turbo. And I really like that we got a rebound, actually. The rebound is top-tier deck manipulation, allowing us to replay a card on a subsequent turn or even on the same turn. A madness would be a very interesting way to scale up from here. I do like that idea. I do think this deck is capable of tackling elites, although we'd have to invest potions in it. We've got White Bee Statue, so we can do that too. I want to visit a shop, but I don't want to visit too many event rooms, because event rooms are stinky. So what do I do? Two events minimum to go to this shop, one to go to this shop, and that's it. There's only two shops. 
So, I think I'll go to this one, which means guaranteed fighting an elite afterwards. I think we can take it. Quite frankly. And then we get to rest and reevaluate from there. Tackle more elites or just take regular combats in spades. Sure, event rooms could be Apparition Plus, but think of it this way. Regular combats can be Seek Plus. And that's what we're looking for, in part. Or, you know, Fission Plus or Turbo Plus, Aggregate Plus. Six cards seen per combat reward. That's a lot of cards. Hologram Plus. Ooh, I like that too. Tempted to focus potion here. I don't want to use the block potion. I don't want to use no potion. I'll do it. Get him. This is 20 to all of them. We already played the other thing. Good. Focus Potion was a good choice here. Cables. These don't say plus. Oh. There we go. These do say plus. Hologram plus versus turbo plus. That's a tough choice. I think it's got to be the turbo at the moment. And then every subsequent hologram we take. But right now we need the energy more than we need the draw control. Do I take a compile driver? The Electro Pluses problematically fill our orb slots completely with monotype? I don't think so. Barrage could be okay. Oh, that is foolish. Already did. Didn't get to play Algorithm there. But we ended the fight decisively and quickly. That's going to be a Skim Plus. Do I take a Fusion Plus? Hmm. Kind of like it, actually. I'll just take four. Going for maximum neck size. It's it's going to be the right pick when all of the cards that we're adding are upgraded. It's definitely going to be the right take. Almost all the time. I think this is all for one ball lightning. That way I get to keep the lightning orb too. Or the frost orb, excuse me. This won't kill. Not even, not even dual cast Doom and Gloom is a kill here. There's our turbo. However, rebound Doom and Gloom, dual cast. That is a kill. Get a fruit juice for some max HP. Another chance at chaos here. We could also consider an auto shields. Make sure the block density is still there. Also, just keep adding cool headed plus. Or keep adding electros, but I don't think we need more of those. I will be taking the fruit juice. Um, and just in case there's an ornithopter in the shop that I want to buy, we'll not drink it immediately. Is there such a thing as too many electros? Awakened One says yes. Yes, there is. It's actually not a card I like much against Heart either. Which does discourage me from taking it. Auto shields. Very awkward with all this draw shenanigans. I don't think I'll take an auto shields. Mango Tonics, thank you so much for 15 months. Many moons of support. Could add Ritual Dagger here. It's early enough in the act that, and we're incentivized enough to visit combats that I think it would be good. But it's going to be difficult to. 
manage both the ritual dagger and the genetic algorithm, especially as the deck gets larger and larger. So I'm just going to take the money instead. Oh. Rosenai. Rosenai makes a very large deck of cards a lot more manageable, I have to say. I'll have to use it deliberately, but I think it's very, very powerful here. I also do not mind Art of War one bit either. We play no attacks during our turn, gain extra energy next turn. If I could take them both, I'd be even stronger together. How does Echo Form Ritual Dagger work? You can't stack it two times, that's for sure. I think either the first or the second hit can kill and and buff it, but I don't remember for sure. There was some kind of duplication that didn't work with Ritual Dagger. I don't remember what it was, though. We're doing something with a Watcher, and, and it didn't stack on the... F Might have been Omniscience. I know Dual Wield doesn't work, period. I think it was Omniscience that I'm remembering not working. The real shame is that I can't go Art of War Frozen Eye Carter move, because that's what I want to do. I guess I'll just go Eye and Art of War. They're going to be so powerful together. Let's me know whether I need to play my attack cards or not. So, for example, here we can know that if we play Cool Headed, I'll draw Darkness Doom and Gloom. Which may or may not be desirable. I don't have a kill here. Do if I if I play Electro, we dual eight, dual cast eight plus eight again. Twenty-four plus nine area damage won't kill anybody. Very crucially, though, drawing Turbo Cool Headed next turn looks pretty good. We'll be able to kill at least one of them. Okay, so from the looks of this, my turn is as follows. Electro, then Cool-Headed. No, sorry, Cool-Headed and then Electro. We get more energy next turn. I'm not going to need that turbo, huh? And then Block Motion. Save some of this health. Though that would have brought me to exactly 35 if I didn't use it. Interesting. Should be able to get a kill here. So what do I want to rebound? I could rebound to fusion, but I don't think that's a good idea. I'm currently going to draw claw plus defend. And then we'll draw another electrodynamics next turn. We just need to make sure that we're not vulnerable. Basically. I don't think I'm going to rebound anything that I arrive at. So we'll only be taking hits from these. Currently we're doing 9 area damage plus 9 plus 2. That's 20. So I'll have to evoke one of the lightning orbs, and then we'll kill. So if, I, if I play the fusion, we kill. So we go fusion, rebound, claw to kill. And I could go turbo defend also. Currently blocking 18. So I'm taking a little bit. We'd like to take... Well, none is also acceptable, I suppose. Okay. I'll play the defend then. And we'll aim to take none. Get a Focus Potion and the Ancient Tea Set, giving me more energy on turn one after visiting a rest site. Yet another cool headed here. There's definitely such a thing as too many of these. But I don't know if we're there yet. I 
Don't have enough powers for force field to feel good. I wouldn't mind another charged battery, though. As we're a little bit thin on actual block. I'm gonna grab one. With a plus on it. And again, happy to keep flooding this deck with, with upgraded cards, by and large. So, question that befalls us now. Do I go this way, or do I head for the Burning Elite, knowing that it can't be Super Slavers and that I have a Focus Potion in my back pocket? I feel pretty capable of defeating the Burning Elite here. It'll be either Gremlin Leader or the Book of Stabbing, and in either case, I have some serious answers. Uh, which upgrade would be most helpful? Probably Zap. Give me another zero-cost lightning orb for that. Although, upgraded dual cast, also very valuable. Actually, yeah, let's get dual cast back with all for one. That could be quite powerful. And I am going to path towards the Burning Elite. That also allows me to take um, fewer events and more combats to keep putting the Prayer Wheel Toxic Egg dastardliness to really good use here. Uh, what are we drawing next turn? Electro, Skim, Echo Form, Doom and Gloom, Defend, with Skim drawing into the Fusion. So I can go Skim, Fusion, Electro, Electro next turn. <laughs> Get him. As we evoke this and get two more energy back. And then the blapping. Actually, wait. All for one gets back turbo, too, so hold on. It's dual cast. I don't want to kill them all, though. Hold on. All for one, you. Get back turbo. Play the echo form? Take two? Play the echo form. I want to double the, uh, the thingy. I double cool headed, I'll draw into it, and I only get to play it one time. So what we do is double charge battery here. Beautiful. Unupgraded nonsense. I would consider leap if I hadn't taken the charge battery. I don't feel motivated to take a self-repair when I have meat on the bone. Do I want another darkness plus? Not really. Does double genetic algorithm buff the card twice? Yes. This thing is already 25 block with uh, relatively few combats. We even outright missed it in one of them. Let's skip all these. Two random attack upgrades. Strike, claw... That's what that's it. Strike and Claw are gonna get upgraded here. The upgrade density. No, I'll take the sapphire key. I don't think I I care for strike and claw upgraded. Oh, I guess we have ball lightning also. Yes, and ball lightning. Excuse me. There was a third choice. Regenerating Gremlin Leader. Ah! All right, we draw into Electro though. So you're doomed, son. Looks like a good energy and or focus potion. I might even use both here. Hello and welcome, Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil says, any tips for a new ironclad player? Damage is good. You don't always need to block all of the damage an opponent does, and even zero block strategies can be very effective on the ironclad player. Also, don't underestimate the power of exhaust as a mechanic. It might not seem readily or immediately apparent why you'd want to delete certain cards for only one combat. Um, but if you exhaust your worst cards consistently, you'll find that you get lots of good 
hands that are very powerful. I think I'll just use all my potions here because we're going to regenerate all the potions anyway. I want to evoke. I want to evoke this orb. Then I want to skim charge battery. Dual cast and claw. You got it. Poor Grum Leader never stood a chance. Algorithm is the bottom card. Play the. I could even almost kill right now, I think. But I don't want to do that. We will play this but one time and murder you. Alright, very, very easy fight thanks to our investment of potions. Hilariously, we then immediately find a potion belt, which gives us more potion slots, but thanks to White Beast Statue, we'll be able to fill those potion slots pretty quickly. That's right, even. Exhaust is, is useful even if you have no positive interactions going on with it, but as soon as you add a relic or power that benefits from a per-exhaust effect, uh, that's when Ironclad gets really silly. Feel no pain, Dark Embrace, Karen's Ashes, combo with Corruption, and hoo boy, you're off to Silly Town. So... Is it better? to go combat combat versus event elite. Now that is a lead act two event, which could be all, all sorts of really nice things for us, but it could also be detrimental. There's, there's a few useless options in there. Meanwhile, two combats is four card rewards and two potions. which is very powerful. Even if we were to get, say, hypothetically Thwack, we're, we're only going to get two card rewards from these two nodes versus four card rewards here. So we still see more cards, guaranteed, going this way. Last option, what about this way? Avoid the fire. Go combat, combat, event, event. Versus triple combat and one fire. Hmm. Zap upgrade is okay. Does the deck beat champ yet? Oh yeah. That yeah, champ is... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. Super, super does. Do you remember what our last event was? I don't remember what I got here. Oh, that was the ritual dagger. That's right. I think that's a common event. All right, I think I'm convinced that it's either the double event, double combat line, or the event into elite line, but not the not the guaranteed rest site. Okay, let's go here. What do we get? Card removal. That is pretty good. And then I think I actually deliberately avoid the elite. We get one more event and two guaranteed fights. One of which is the library, choosing one of 20 cards with hacking Toxic Egg, meaning we can snap pick this hologram. Also worth considering Equilibrium for Retain or Machine Learning for Bonus Draw each turn. Those are both very good. But I'm taking a hologram. This deck, this defect deck is definitely at the stage where uh, more card draw is more valuable than anything else, really. There's a... Yeah, the more card rewards are more valuable than anything else. I'm not drawing any of your attacks. Let's do one cool-headed. 
I want to draw Algorithm and Electro next turn. That sounds great. So let's just play Zap. I'm not going to play the Claw because I want the energy. And we can actually see where the Dazed go. We can watch them be inserted into the draw pile with Frozen Eye, um, which does indicate a one of Spire's little lies that it, it does have. There's very few instances, I think, where this game misleads you, but this particular mechanic is one. Note that Hex says, whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one dazed into your draw pile. But looking at the draw pile with Frozen Eye reveals you're not shuffling anything. All of the cards stay in the order that they are, and a dazed is added to a random location. But nothing else, nothing is shuffled. There's absolutely, positively no shuffling occurring. It's a lie. It's all a lie. An outrage. An absolute outrage. I like that card. I don't like these cards, but I like this card right here. Fission Blues evokes all the orbs, gives me one energy and one card draw for every orb evoked. Maybe the Chosen shuffles forward towards the player. Slowly. <laughs> While hexing us. That makes sense. All right. And yeah, let's take that one more guaranteed combat. That This exact card is precisely why we were choosing to take regular combats over... Is this, is this a Perfusion Electro? I don't think so, right? Uh, take regular combats over the Elites, because finding upgraded rares is more valuable than just about anything else. So, we draw a Charge Battery Beam Cell... Currently 23 incoming. Half health for us is 35 plus 3, 38. So I want to take 8. 23 minus 8, 15. So if I can block for 15 somehow, or close to 15. Cool headed hologram charge battery is 14 blocks. So that's almost perfect. But then this is my hand next turn? Hmm. Could result in more damage to me. I guess I should play this. Okay, not too bad. to be... This is only 10, so if I want to take no damage, I have to play both the Darkness and the Ball Lightning. That way the gold-plated cable supplies to the Frost Orb. Next turn we play the Fission and everything is fine. And I think this deck can loop back around to... Although, I gotta be careful about killing her. Hmm. Let's do it the following way then. I wanna play that algorithm twice before the fight ends. If I evoke the Dark Orb, it hits the Mystic instead of the Centurion. Dark Orbs always target the opponent with the lowest health. 
So if we want the Centurion to be struck, we must lower the Centurion's health below the threshold of the Mystic. That way the Dark Orb will target them. And then Algorithm's on the very bottom, but that's not a problem. As we have incredible draw power now. Nothing can stop us. Upgraded X cost. Wow, double double tempest. The re-tempesting. Sure, I'm glad we took this early turbo, as we have not been able to find another energy generating card yet. Shocking with how many we've looked at. I think I'll take this reinforced. This is one of Defect's best block cards, and I particularly like it for our later game. This is another one of those cards, by the way, that can really help you with the Awakened one. How do you survive without power spam? This is one of the best cards to do so with. This one I'll skip, though. Although that Compiled River is not terrible, actually. Our plan in the champ fight is... I don't think I need the Echo Form upgrade when I have Frozen Eye. Let's upgrade this other charge battery. Maybe that was a good recall, too. Is that the upgraded one? There's no way to know. Okay, next turn is pretty sad. Do I need the energy? Looks like that's going to be a no. So I can play this. The plan is don't die. It's a good plan. Plan is exhaust all the one-time cards we've got. I'll even use Fission next turn, probably, so we'll be losing this Dark Orb. Keep the algorithm for now. We'll replace it with a new, better Dark Orb. Only three. Don't quite draw to the block. Oof. I would have to use the Gambler's Brew to get the Reinforced Body. I suppose I could be convinced to do that. Otherwise, we're blocking relatively little here. I guess just taking a hit is fine, too. We've got health to spare. All right, fine. But I'm playing Electro first. And then we just Doom and Gloom, Defend, Defend, Fission, Rebounds. Go to meet on the phone range. So, about this turn. I think we want to now build up this Dark Orb as best we can. Echo Firm is the bottom card? How did I not notice that? Fascinating. Um, hmm. Awkward. I think I have to cool headed here. Wait, can I get it and play this turn? I think I can, if I do the following. I dual cast this. Now, hologram cool headed. Cool headed. Cool headed again. Turbo. Echo form. Here we go. 
and I can even choose to now skim to change what my hand is next turn. That's the real power of Frozen Eye. Normally, you would never play skim draw four with your last energy, but here, knowing how it changes what I draw next turn is very powerful. I think I would like to double Doom and Gloom, so let's not play it. He's just doing his thing. We'll double Algo next turn, I suppose. Use the fusion to push the Dark Orbs in front. And then I can do stuff from there. I'll just hologram that void. Oh, so all for one getting back Claw and Turbo. Eh. He won't be attacking me next turn either. Means I could just wait. we use this turn to rebound our darkness? I think that's going to be the play. And we echo form the darkness plus next turn. on bottom. However, so execute is occurring next turn. If we double reinforce with any decent amount of energy, we can simply block the hit. So if we ensure that we draw a reinforced body as part of my base draw next turn, which means drawing four or more cards on this turn, which I can do a double cool headed, then we can draw the reinforced body and then do shenanigans the following turn. So let's double darkness. Probably getting a very powerful dark orb there. What is this? Hologram darkness? Get the extra boost on this dark orb. Then cool headed. I could even skim. That way our last turn is all for one beam cell turbo cool headed dual cast. That seems great. So fusion then skim. Art of War is still active so don't play the claw. This turn we double reinforce body. Next turn we do shenanigans. Meanwhile this dark orb super powered. Wow that's not even a big hit. A little bit overkill, don't you think? Just a bit. Draw. Claw a third time. Hype. And then we've got it next turn. GG. Now we've got our full potion belt again. And more rare cards that I don't really want. I guess Amplify could do things. But will it really? It's okay with Rose and I. But I don't really have powers that are worth duplicating unless we're trying to dupe Echo Form, which is ambitious. Creative AI is eventual focus game. On a turn, I don't think we need it. Honestly, one of the ways this deck might win is if we can just find a couple more focus potions and hoard them until the late game.
I'm gonna skip all of these again. Actually, wait. Do we do we maybe need creative AI? Creative AI isn't better with an echo form. And it's a reliable way to scale in the well, maybe not reliable, but it's a way to scale in the late game that we can use. Hmm. It's worth thinking about. But I'm not desperate yet, and I have lots of card rewards left to look at still. That is a pretty comfortable sacred bark. Holy moly, look at this thing. We have four potion slots with a new potion coming every combat. Double potions is my immediate, immediate look. There's also, of course, Sneko Eye here. Draw two extra cards each turn. We've got an Echo Form. We've got All for One Hologram, Skim, Reinforced Body. This is a pretty good Sneko deck, too. Although Sneko does somewhat reduce the value of the Frozen Eye. Violet Jelly, did you hear about the defect that thought it was a dog? Its bark was worse than its Megabyte. There's also Sozu, if I wanted to keep these specific potions to the late game, and I absolutely do not want to do that. These are all very, very short-term potions. I'm taking the Sacred Bark. Hey, hey, everyone. Did you know that you can now support me directly on YouTube by getting a channel membership? For as low as five bucks a month, you'll get access to perks like custom badges and emojis to use in comments and discounts on the merch store, all while helping support me and this channel to do what I love every day. Just click the join button below to get started. Now back to the video. I think if we can find simply one focus potion, we're gonna be in business. And since I'm going to be taking a lot of combats, we're also going to be looking at a lot of potions. Quite frankly, my ideal path through the act, something like just combat, 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 combat. Elites? Not really necessary. Relics don't do as much for us as uh, just tons and tons more card rewards does. Although I might opt into this elite. It's even avoiding this rest site, so maybe we'll fight this elite here, maybe this one here. But avoid basically everything else throughout the entirety of this act. And just harvest mass rewards. Looking for, again, energy generators, aggregate, maybe another turbo, double energy plus would be acceptable. Twenty-four block. Just let Art of War do its thing there. Perform towards the bottom, of course. It's fine. With Prayer Wheel, do the odds skew in favor of hallways over elites in general? Yes, and more so with the Toxic Egg, more so with Meat on the Bone. Well, I guess the Meat on the Bone Weight Beast statue are also helpful in elite fights. But we've got a, a lot of things. The, all four of these first four relics strongly incentivize lots of combats. Since I don't have calipers, I guess we're kind of at the functional limit of algorithm anyway, huh? Get a claw back. Still haven't played any attack cards. Then I can just regenerate those orbs. The cycle of life. I'm gonna try the new Rogue Book Hero on the 24th, definitely. I'm excited for more content for Rogue Book. Six cards. There's an energy generator, Recycle Plus. This also lets us is create more room in hand, crucially enabling more cards to be drawn. And I'll probably take one Glacier Plus. Infinite? Because we have Fusion, Skim, Cool Headed? And we have a rebound. I mean, we're like quickly there, actually, yeah? Technically infinite. The best kind of infinite. I mean, I'm definitely taking recycle. I 
think I still will take a glacier. Okay, that forms way down here. It's fine by me. Fusion's such a good fission target too. This deck can really really make stuff happen when it wants to. Double upgrade all your cards. This deck certainly takes another hologram. How about a biased cognition as a way to gain focus? Currently have no way to negate it. I don't think that I care. We'll take it and we'll take the hologram. That does give me a reason to want to upgrade something though. I want to upgrade now the bias cog. Recycle used on an X cost card gives you energy equal to your current energy. I can draw to that skim. Okay, let's just recycle reinforced for now then. Drawing next turn. I can form charge battery, defend turbo. I'm going to have three energy to spend. Well, lots more than that, technically. Okay, let's get rid of Doom and Gloom. Just play the Glacier for the moment. That's only the five damage hit, which means I don't even need to play the Turbo. Skim, definitely. Draw through all that. That's a much better turn next turn. We'll double bias, play the fission, go from there. So, actually, just give me that. Don't play Claw either. Next turn, Glacier, Recycle, Claw. I want to draw the Electro next turn, so let's play at least one Cool-Headed. Might be multi-attacking me next turn, in which case I'll double Cool-Headed. Need to make sure we're doing damage, though. And buff turn, which means double Electro! The Blappening. Sorry, Claw. More card rewards. Heat sinks? Maybe. Another hologram. Yes. Yes. Three is still good. I had the creative AI, I would more reliably take this heat sinks. As it stands, we're still looking to avoid rest sites currently. Although I might opt into this one to get biased upgraded and that would let me get a second elite anyway. So then we go like this way. That feels comfortable. 
Okay. Uh, I'll grab this double colorless potion as well over the double fear potion. So the double fear potion is not very valuable to my brain. Alrighty, what do we got here? Literally bottom card electro er, genetic algorithm is what we have here. Because why would we have anything else? Obviously. Deck is beautiful. And I love it. Uh, we draw Echo Form next turn. That's not going to block, though. So let's hollow Cool Headed one more time. Looks a bit better. Because the stinky 11 by 2 attack comes, and I want to be able to stop this in some fashion. Am I even doing that? It's a, a good question. This electrodynamics blocks for 15, technically. But then I won't be able to play the Echo form. I think I'm going to answer this by just using one of the potions. Let's make it the colorless potion. Perfect. Double. Enlightenment. Fix the Echo Form 1 cost. Notably playing uh, Recycle first before enlightening things. To avoid accidentally doing the wrong thing. This is fine. Double Glacier this turn, I guess, is my block. Actually, Double Zap is better, offensively. Just win. That's right, they can't attack you if you're dead. Or if you have four million holograms. I'm gonna grab one last hologram. This is the final one we need. Four holograms is basically mostly about getting Recycle back into my hand, but also hologramming the skim over and over again or more draw positivity. We don't have a spreadsheet at the moment, Yake, but we do have a both a kills command and a losses command. So there's a... There's an attempts tracker going. Although I think that total is incorrect again. Hold on, that should be 31 or 32, right? 19 plus 12, 31. Right. Okay. Fix that. Not taking a stinky beam either. Chill Electro or the All for One. Oof. I guess I'll lose one of my redundant Electros, but they are kind of nice, actually. No. But my Chill? Hmm. The All for One's kind of valuable. Here's where I wish we were losing Claw or Beam Cell or even Doom and Gloom. Tough choice. All right, I'll lose the Electro, but I'm a little worried that our lack of Lightning Orbs is going to hit us hard now. First elite up is Giant Head. Echo Form is way down there, but that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. I can generate a lot of energy this turn. How many cards do you think I can draw this turn? Just off the top of your head, chat, with this, with this opening hand. Currently 30 cards in the draw pile. When I hit end turn, how many cards will be left in the draw pile? That's the question. In teens and 20s is most people's guess. Pretty reasonable guess. 
spot. Gonna be a very unreasonable turn, I think. Uh, question is, can I get to recycle? How many cards can I draw? Yes. Yes, many. Can we get one more hologram? Take a hollow skim here. All for one returns Turbo and Claw. I'd like to do that later if possible. Nine more cards. Hand Clog becoming an issue here. Of course. To draw seven more cards. Well, I, it, I think using the Gambler's Brew is a little cheating here, for the record. Although it'd be very powerful, of course. Okay, hello, skim draws two I'm out of holograms here. Can't quite get there in the way that I wanted to. Now a hologram skim. One more time. And we get down to 14 here. I was hoping we could get the recycle into our hand, but it looks like that's not happening here. And then what? Do I rebound anything? I don't think so. Okay, so 14 was the answer. Drew 16 cards that turn. It's not bad. We could have done better, but that's not bad. Just hollow the skim again. Go for it, get some play. This gets recycled. Front. Beautiful. We should have double skimmed, probably. Don't want to draw too many more cards, though. It's just turbo. Draw a little more and go crazy with holograms here. Because I want a double algorithm next turn. Then, yeah, we're fine after that. Get that back. Let's keep playing beam cells. Do I want to do anything with this dark orb? Not yet. want more energy for this turn. You don't lose energy if you hologram the void, no. No, you do not. Which is extremely valuable, thankfully. Okay, so we're hollowing skim and... What, cool-headed? I'm going to do some shenanigans this turn. One, two, three, four. 
to go one more, two more. So yeah, skim and... Well, I already have a cool headed, though. Let's go skim hologram, then. I'm going to be deleting human gloom here. For the energy. Blocking 16. Let's shoot. I'll have to hologram turbo then. It's fine. Bye. To you too, buddy. Nice knowing ya. Give up the tap there. Only holograms. You got it, buddy. What's the point? Beautiful. Uh, skim, dissolve, glacier here. Hologram, the recycle, recycle, defend, play the all for one. Recycle darkness. And it all just kind of comes together. Replacement fire potion. We also got a shuriken letting us scale our attack damage by playing lots of attacks. I don't think I'm going to bother much. How badly do I want this bias cognition upgraded? Versus how badly do I just want to look at more card rewards? I'm going to just take more card rewards. I really don't think relics are the way to scale this deck up right now. Get bigger genetic algorithm, it's true. It's true. Bye bye. Their gambler's brew very, very strong. Is two fusions the right number? What about two all for ones? Hmm. I think the all for one is actually really good. Letting us just burn the deck down into a, a very small subset of cards. Hey there, prankster. Today, Spire is doing very silly things for us. That's what Spire is doing today. Ooh. May have to use our Swift Potion next turn.
gonna go with that's a yes. Hologram turbo and keep going if I want to. Interesting. Let's get Echo Form and play this turn then. In fact, we can maybe even do better than that. Uh, there are one, two, three zero cost cards. Hologram the all for one. Play the all for one again. Keep generating energy with it. Feels good. Sure, there's lots of turbos. Don't worry about that. Nice. Who needs to play Echo Form when everyone's dead already? Memories is very good, lets us target two cards from the discard pile. Is it ever too late for another algorithm? Really showing off how we strongly prefer a, an aggregate. I haven't seen one yet, though. I'm not going to take a fifth cool-headed. Four should be plenty. I have a glacier. Sorry, no, I have three cool-headeds and one glacier. Yeah, that should be plenty. All right, what's in the box? Singing Ball, you're late, but not too late. We can now gain max HP by skipping these myriad of cards that were offered. It's going to be quite a bit by the end of the run. Another low down echo form. I'll just play this on turn one again. Don't give a heck. For ones just are so energy positive with all the stuff we have. Hey there, Logan. No stipulations or any of the sort today. We're just trying to finally win with defects, uh, which so far looks pretty promising here. Especially as our max health goes up significantly with each of these fights. Heck yeah. Transient can be a bit of a meaning. Hmm. Echo Form coming up. I'd really like to play Echo Form during this fight. But I don't want to take a bunch of damage. How do I make that happen? Hmm. Probably has to involve a potion. Based on what I'm seeing here.
Hmm. Uh, yeah. Let's just commit one of the gambler's brews, I suppose. But I then want five cards, so I just gamble everything except the holograms? Or, and just everything, period. Mark and hologram cool-headed and then gamble differently. Actually, that seems more reasonable. Okay, yeah, let's do it that way. Hologram cool-headed played again. Now Gambler's Brew. Two, three, four, five, six. Can I do that? Four, five, six. Yes. Good. Turbo. All for one gets back, gets back a bunch of stuff. Turbo again. Put up a defend. Now I can play Echo Form. Let's go Hologram, Hologram the Void. It's got to be double ult for one, I think. Although maybe that was double rebound? Rebound the ult for one? Unclear. Let's rebound the recycle then. Okay, echo from some play. Double skin. Recycling cards. Particularly cards that I don't want. Beautiful. Am I going to be able to double this algorithm? Not likely, but I can at least hologram it. Rebound will rebound itself if you echo form it. Yes, it's a little awkward. It's a little bit though. Back to defend and rebound. Rebound the recycle. And draw more cards. And play the recycle. Draw more cards twice. Even recycle turbo eventually. It's not gonna echo from the hologram if I wish. This is where I'm just gonna get algorithm back. Way too. Don't play any damage cards. Now we can double hollow again. All for one and recycle. All for one gets back all these real costs. Puts us in a commanding position here. Alright, not bad. Did have to use that one Gambler's Brew, but otherwise flawlessly defeated. Get a four energy potion, which could be pretty powerful. Static Discharge is an interesting option. Overclock Plus is also an interesting option. Baron Ferret, thank you so much for 24 months in the Prime Sun. Appreciate you keeping it cozy. Overclock's weird because of the burns that it adds. Theoretically, there's maybe some kind of infinite we can do with Overclock and Recycle. 
in practice, I think we'll be beaten out by the beat of death if we try it. I'll just take max health. Okay, not that many card rewards remaining before we have to tackle the end game here. I'll be fighting these two. Got potions I'm willing to spend, and I love the rare relic and money we get. So, beam cell, hologram, doom and gloom. Realistically, I want to draw two more right now. This looks like an energy potion to me. Hopefully those burns don't go precisely where I don't want them to go. Probably should have hologrammed the beam cell before I did that as well. But I don't think it'll matter much. Yeah. Alright, burns go. Just out of range. The other one's far down. So here I am allowed to... Use all for one to get back Beam Cell and the Turbo here. And I can also draw into Electrodynamics if I hologram Cool Headed. Get any other cards. So we'll do it as follows. Perishes. Looks like we'll take a bit of a donk on the other one here, unless I choose to use one of my potions. I like these potions a lot, so I don't think I'm going to. Eleven plus eighteen won't KO, right? Okay. Let's take a look. Ginger makes us immune to weaken. We get the energy potion back. Offered one more cool-headed or another overclock. Or max health. And keep taking combats. That's the directive here. Writhing Mass changes attacks every time we strike them. Usually using hitting them as a way of controlling what they're doing on any given turn. That's definitely what we want to be doing. Don't strike them unless we absolutely, positively have to. Or else. Ouch. Question mark. Or I can just potion. Let's just potion. This we need to prevent. Algorithm is pretty high at 82. I don't feel like we need to keep uh, upping it, huh? Seems like it's fine. Better play, hologram, skim. Headed biased vision. Here we go. And there's darkness. Perfect. Dual cast next turn kills. All right, that got played twice. That's fine, too. Beautiful. One more hologram? Maybe. How about a capacitor for more orb slots? Although I still have no way to gain permanent focus, which is... Well, there's another bias cog. That's an option. 
<laughs> Just have two of them and ignore the focus down. It's spooky, but, but doable. Spooky, but doable. Hmm. One true leaf. Did you hear about the defect that got summoned for jury duty? They had to excuse them because they were too biased. I think this bias cog is the way that I'm going to win. So we can find a way to gain artifacts. All right. Have four holograms? Yes. I don't need more than that. No refunds. Okay, I found a potion use case. It's whatever this is. Our all for one is really not doing anything for us here. If I were to gamble, I could draw up to this hologram and then cool headed into recycle. That would work, kind of. Let's see what's in the colorless potion first. Double madness. Now that's curious. Double deep breath. This actually does change the order of the cards in your draw pile, I believe. And all for one can get them back? How strange. Madness hollow all for one infinite? Not possible without the hologram. Although I guess I could have also used the gambler's brew to go infinite immediately. That's a weird one. Um, so do I want to draw bias cog? Not really. Is this how that works, though? Yes, that is. Because if there's nothing to shuffle, then you just draw the top card. Understood. That ends up being a hologram. Interesting. Okay, so now we can... And now the top card is deep breath. That's really funny. <laughs> what do you mean the top card is deep breath? Hello? Amazing. Grab the all for one and kill this one? Yes. me from getting anything else that's in here from the draw pile. Hmm. All right, let's do it this way. Understood. Very strange. These deep breaths are very strange. Skim draws Electro that I... Oh, I can play. Okay. Just skim into Electro here. Get me out of here. No algorithm play in that fight. I'm just happy to get out of it. Ten more max health from this fruit juice. Ridiculous. 
recursion? Hmm. Okay, we ultimately have not found the cards I was looking for, necessarily, but the recycle engine might be enough. Or any source of artifact will also be enough. We'll have 102 max health when I eventually do drink this fruit juice. Plan in this combat, recycle cards that I don't want to play, including both bias cognitions. So be playing this this turn. And I'll take the bonus energy next turn. Cycles towards the bottom of the deck, unfortunately. Okay. We have to focus on killing the birds first while not enraging the awakened one, ideally. We can figure out the rest from there. Do I play Echo Form? Probably. I'll probably take some damage to play Echo Form. That's got to be worth it. Set up uh, meat on the bone before the fight ends. Okay, what's the play here? Got fission hologram all for one next turn. No benefit to holding the fruit juice now. There's not. We're not going to find any potions between now and the next act. I theoretically could pick up toy ornithopter. There's basically no benefit. It does lower the meat on the bone threshold, actually. So there is that benefit. Just need to block, please. for now. Take one. Perfect meat value. You love to see it. There's a lot of voids in the discard pile there. Vision is drawing three. Oh, I need to actually be able to get to that skim. So give me cool headed hologram. Perfection. Let the deletion of cards begin. This, program that, cycle this, all for one that. Recycle this, it's all the darkness, good. All for one. Cycle this. Okay, many cards deleted that turn.
You get to do cheats here. Flay defend. Sell claw. With my last energy play skim, that way we draw the void that I know is there without actually losing any energy. Recycle the electrodynamics for two more energy. Use that to play the all for one. Get rid of this defend. Again, draw a void with no energy here. On purpose. Then use the turbo to play the charge battery. We'll block this too. Get rid of these bias cognitions. All these cards I don't want to play against the Awakened One. Okay. Uh, what are we doing here? Double Ultra One? Sure. Get rid of this ball lightning. Hologram, Ultra One, do that again? Question mark? No, I need to block this turn. Turn. Now we're almost at a cards that I don't want anymore. Almost. Second's coming up. Can actually start to recycle stuff like uh, some of the holograms here. Got rid of dual cast already. And then claw. Okay, blocking is a good idea. I guess. time. Draw this void. This frozen eye has been cool. <laughs> it's just holograms and cool edits the whole way down. Apparently. Cycle is the bottom card. Interesting. Draw one, please. Let's start to do some very silly things indeed. Cycle this. Hologram, all for one. Play all for one. Beam cell, claw. Hologram, all for one. Play all for one. You get the idea. GG. Awaken one absolutely smashed. Something similar is kind of our plan against Heart, but we'd like some way to gain a bit more permanent power for that fight. How the heck do we beat Time Eater? Probably with a big Dark Orb. Fortunately, we know we have Echo Form coming up next turn. But it looks like some amount of damage taking is going to be inevitable. I can't play this Bias Cog on turn one here. I could Speed Potion to save a lot of health, but I don't think I'm going to try that yet. Let's take the hit if we need to. 
then this hit also, I guess. Ow. First few turns against Time Eater are often quite nasty. Okay, now what? Uh, now looking like I want to double skim to get my hand full here. And we need to get sent up. To some extent. What does getting sent up in this fight look like? How do we win? Dark War. It's going to mean calculated use of focus, probably. Tricky, tricky. Don't get that many cards this turn. I must be very careful. Five more cards. Thinking Glacier plus Charge Battery. Cool Headed. Or I could even do Hologram. Glacier Charge Battery. Hologram Charge Battery Recycle. Also go cool headed recycle. Not sure if I should recycle claw. Do hologram recycle. A slimed. We'll head here. Hologram Darkness? It's one of my better plays that I can do. I'll take some damage for that, though. But I think it's the best way to get our... our foe dead here, as it charges up this Darkness Orb so much, so quickly. is, can I survive this choice? Looks a little sketchy here. 25, double hologram brings me to 35. That's still not surviving. So is it Gambler's Brew time? That is the question. That would mean losing this Dark Orb, tragically. Not a lot of choice, though, with uh, what's in the draw pile here. It's real unfortunate, as I would have liked to play this darkness a bit more. But yeah, it's got to be Brew, and then I double cool-headed, losing this orb. I think that's the only way to reasonably get out of here. Get more energy next turn if I double charge battery, but it's less card plays to reinforce, so I think we'll be playing reinforced. This is a good turn to make you vulnerable. Not as much. Not rude. Okay, let's we'll make sure we don't draw any cards then.
Next turn, I'm going to double biased and single Elgo. So I need three card clard. Three clards left. You heard me. Three clards. Double biased, single Elgo. Double biased again, and we'll look to kill with the orb quickly. Cast coming up too. It's perfect. I might even be able to get there by like juggling dark orbs aggressively. It's gonna be a 110 power dark orb next turn. It's basically enough. Darkness plus. Skim. Glacier. Maybe I can like double dual cast at the start of next turn if I play my cards right here. What does that look like exactly? Hologram, darkness, hologram, darkness. Can't cool headed. Hologram Rebound. Hologram Darkness. Rebound the Darkness Plus. Next turn, double Darkness Plus, then dual cast. Then Hologram, then dual cast again. How many card plays is that? Hollow, Hollow, Rebound, Thingamajiggy, double Darkness, dual cast. No, I can't Hologram. I'll run out of card plays. Still gonna do it though. Memories does it. That's so close to a kill. So, do I use the liquid memories and just win here? I think I should. <laughs> and then we get out of the situation. Otherwise, we're in really big trouble here. Okay. Uh, to thump, to thump, to thump. Deep pulsing dread could be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source? All these dark orbs. Missing a lot of health. Any one upgrade that feels all that important? Yes. Bias cogs are kind of insane here, upgrade wise. But it's 17 hit points. It's a lot of hit points. Okay, 
We'll see what upgrades we can, or what potions we can replenish at the store here. We win! This is all we needed. All according to Kenkaku. Not just Panacea, but Panacea Plus. It's the missing recipe for either this speed potion, 10 dexterity, or double bias cog. Some, maybe some mixture of the two. Um, but heck, yes, I was hoping we'd see Panacea. I'll take one more cool headed then. In fact, double card draw potions now very, very good. Four dexterity potions also nice. We'll buy all of the potions, because I can. And I still have enough money for a card removal. Shockingly not Claw. Probably going to be Zap. Okay, I feel pretty capable now. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of defensive potential. Our offense is lacking somewhat, at least for heart fight. But I think it's not going to matter with the way this is going. Five energy turn one, so beautiful here. Hmm. I have to draw six potion if I need it. That's right. Cool-headed, so if I cool-headed again, I get the reinforced right now. And a hologram. Not sure I want that. Hologram, reinforced, recycle, really good for next turn. When spooky stuff is happening. I can just charge battery dual cast. We draw these three next turn. Then we've got hollow beam cell, chill, cool-headed ball lightning. For the following, I can draw darkness defend. Ooh. A little awkward, defensive-wise, on that turn. But that's what probably what the one of the swift potions will be for, is for turn three. Yeah, as Chet pointed out, during that Time Eater fight, we had to... Had to, had to, had to, had to use... The liquid memories and not the hologram because time eater was at 11 on his timer and if we played one more card our turn would end and time eater would kill us so trying to use the hologram there would result in instant death for the player not a good situation you know not not how you want your life to be is this maybe my speed potion fight actually and we save the artifact charges for the other thing in the next fight that would then let me not need to use the Swift Potions this fight, which I could more valuably use against Hearts. Actually, quite like that. Okay. Let's gain 10 Dexterity right now, you stinky nerds. Good luck to you. I'm just going to take the extra energy for next turn also. No holograms next turn. Wait, have I made a mistake? Maybe. But if I cool headed again, and then again I get one, two, three, four, five. That's terrible. Might take some big damage from the shield next turn, unless I also use the swift potion, just because the way the draw is working out here. Uh, let's just recycle the other burn, I suppose. Definitely not that bad. Ah, oh, we're barely taking anything. Uh, we can get Recycle back with All for One, so let's do that. Change our facing here.
Get a lightning orb for next turn. Fission then biased Electro? Yeah. Fission first. It gets back recycle. I could recycle the Electro so that I can play the Echo for him another interesting option, but I'm pretty sure I need to play the Electro. Which means I may wish to recycle the Echo Form. That's a reasonable conclusion to arrive at. I was going to go on top. Oh, foolish. Ah, that was my mistake. Okay, I've cost myself a swift potion here by forgetting that those burns were going to go on top. For shame. For shame. You're the one who has to die. Too bad they weren't shuffled in. Okay. This is draw two, yeah? It is. Hmm. Just hollow genetic. That's fine. Doesn't get a lot done this turn, though. Back one, two, three cards, four cards. Actually, just three cards. I'll get the claw back. That's okay. Give it to me in a moment. Let me skim first. Turbo. Fusion's gonna be more energy this turn as well. We got double charge battery and all for one on top. So if I can draw to that all for one, even better. Although skim kind of gets me there, but not really. Looks like that has to be a no, then. Seventy block, easy peasy. Let's make play this. Do me play. Okay, difficult, difficult fight, but we're there. That was not a double cast. Two potions. We're going to regenerate one, though, and I think we have, since we have full health, our odds against heart are very, very good. Indeed. Get back my all for one. That's what I thought. Boom. 
Gambling Chip lets us discard any number of cards on turn one. We'll get two attacks off the attack potion, and I'll probably just take some more max health here. Okay, 104 health going into the hearts. We have a whole bunch of dexterity, which is going to make these holograms slap. And the goal is to use the panacea with both biased cognitions. How is that going to go for us? Panacea is nice and early here. In fact, I can Panacea Bias Cognition turn one if I play my cards right. What is it? Fusion, then Glacier, then Dual Cast. Yeah, Fusion, Glacier, Dual Cast, Swift Potion. the Panacea with the Cool Headed. Next turn, Charge Battery Hologram looking good. Oh, that also means we block Vulnerable then. Instead of two Bias Cognition debuffs. Is that something that I want to do? Second Bias Cog is pretty far down. I think let's just stop the Vulnerable. Six free focus will be plenty. So, fusion first, glacier, dual cast, draw. Draw some more. Play this, play this. I haven't played an attack yet. Keep the chill as in a potential all for one return. Play the darkness here. All right, there's our turn one. We're immune to the weak. We block the vulnerable. Two by fifteen headed our way, and don't forget we have four decks. Thanks to all these super powerful potions that we have acquired. Question is, how can we get to the echo form most effectively? seen skim yet. I can hologram uh, an all for one here, which will get me back claw, dual cast, chill, etc. Or I can just hologram cool headed, draw two more cards. Then we draw one, two, three, four, five, cool headed into genetic. And then on the buff turn, we get echo form in play. That'll be great. Okay. Gonna play Electro here. We need the block for next turn. I actually want to play the algorithm though. But I'd rather keep that around for a bit longer. I just hologram the uh, reinforced body. And then the turn after the buff, I'm probably doubling skim. Shame that Recycle was the bottom card of the deck really slows us down in this fight, but once we get through the first couple of attack turns, trust me, we're going to be zooming. Just zooming through this fight. Uh, anything in the discard pile that I can get rid of? Not really. Okay, I'll just block with Hollow Reinforce then. Again, anything to hologram meaningfully? Not really. Double skim next turn. Attack potion could be two artifact charges, that's true. If we're lucky, I'll probably use that next turn, maybe. Doesn't really matter what I get. Actually, let's dual cast this now, since I'm getting rid of it next turn anyway. 100 damage.
Double the battery? Yeah. Let's go here. Anything I want to hologram? Chill is a decent hollow target. It's not bother though. I don't care about re-getting beam cell. I've got all for once. It'll come back. Do this way. Get the defend card. All for one gets back. Recycle crucially. And only recycle. Oh, recycle and turbo if I want it. There's cool headed in the discard pile, which can get more holograms. Okay, we'll do it this way then. Play one turbo. Recycle slimed. Hologram. Cool headed. Rebound hologram. Getting Recycle, losing this defense, getting more Frost. Oh yeah, and I was meant to use the attack potion here somewhere. We got two more claws. Let's go. We're now a claw deck, chat. It happened when you weren't looking. That's why we had the one claw, was to combo with these. Of course. How could chat have been so foolish? Now behold, my power. Recycle this dual cast. Oh, yes. And now I think is the time to double bias cognition. We finish out this fight with a big burst of focus and play as hard as we can, essentially. If I do that, then I can't play this all for one. Wait, no, so it has to be double cool headed this turn then. Otherwise, I can't play the all for one. Gets back. Beam cell, uh, claw, claw, beam cell, recycle, turbo. So I would need five cards in hand here. Hmm. Awkward. Let's get turbo back then. We're going to create a lot of voids here. Just how it goes. I'll recycle the defense so that I can play the charge battery for one more energy next turn, rather than getting rid of burn here. And this is going to be double what? Double hologram on all for one, all for one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be. But what about next turn? There won't be a next turn, kids. All voids. Always has been. One, two, three, four, five, six. Theoretically, seven. Do it this way, then. Claw. Claw. Oh, dear. Help! Thank you. 
claw. All for one. Get back all the claws. I've actually capped damage on heart now. Electro. Let's play the defense. Right. Oh, geez, this turn's here? Oh, dear. Well, that's horrifying. Um, terrifying. That's as much block as I can generate. Uh, actually, wait, no, I can do this too. 48, take quite a bit. This is why we had over 100 max health, I suppose. And now we should be fine. Hey there, if you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.